Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to share my science project about the digestion system called the journey of a cheese sandwich. It's a very common science project in the UK. So let's start. You need to read the criteria very well. Decide which level you'll aim for. I think it's very good to get a criteria sheet for all the projects that you do, so you know what you should research about. But sometimes your teacher does not give you any guidelines, which I think makes it very hard. Then you should go to Google to see if there are any other criteria sheets for the project that you are doing. This is because most marking schemes are probably very similar, so you should try to find ones that are already out there. I often try to put up any marking schemes that I have, so if I've done a video on any projects that you are doing, have a look to see if I've put up the marking scheme for it. So I always wanted to do well in science, uh, because if you don't do well in the early stage, you won't be invited to do advanced sciences in my school. I just want to be able to do well. Even though I may not want to study science in higher education, it's better to have choices than no choices at all. So I was aiming to do the highest level. First, I researched all the necessary things I needed to put in my project. We were given A3 paper to do the project. I, surprisingly, am not very good at art, as you might have noticed by now, maybe. So I needed to find a traceable digestive system. There are a lot online, so I just printed out an enlarged one and traced it. I did this by putting the picture on my window on a sunny day and putting another piece of paper over it, and then you'll be able to see the picture appear on your paper. You will need to include some diagrams since food absorption is a very complicated process. Also talk about how cells use the food. If there is an extension, I highly recommend for you to do it because this is how you are going to get the top results. Make sure to not talk about something for too long. For example, if you spend three hours of time talking about food absorption, then you won't have enough time to draw a diagram and do all the other things that are necessary. Split your time equally on each subject. And one important thing about food digestion is to talk about the enzymes. Do not forget the enzymes, they are very important. Also talk about what enzymes are used to break down what foods and what they turn into after they are broken down by the enzymes. You do not have to do this for everything, but you should do this for at least some examples. For example, protein will get broken down by protease and then this will be turned into something else that goes into the bloodstream. <laughs> <laughs> this will be turned into something else. While I was looking through my project, I realized that I forgot one part. Protein will get broken down by protease, carbohydrates will get broken down by amylase, and fat will get broken down by lipase. However, I don't exactly remember the products, so if you do remember them, make sure to perhaps comment them down below, maybe? <laughs> There is a chance that you might forget the, some of the information like I did, so I think it is very important to keep the projects after you've finished with them, since then, when you are studying for tests that cover all the information you've done in the year, or in the previous year as well, you will be able to look at it and remember. Obviously, I haven't written this down in my project, so I need to revise my notes. So thank you for watching, I hope this helps you do your project in some way. I used Google Slides to do the extension of the project, and I got quite a good mark for this. More importantly, I learned a lot. This helped me for my biology exam anyway. So please like the video if you like them, or you can dislike them if you don't like them, so then I know what videos you like to watch. It would be wonderful if you could subscribe to my channel so then I could help grow my channel. It's getting very wintry, so keep warm. See you later! Bye!